is up my Wix family Michael Patrick Strauch here and in today's video I'm bringing you a very special something in fact it's something all of you have been waiting for in the Wix community yes you got it we are bringing multilingual stores to Wix which means you can now make your Wix stores multilingual it's awesome it's exciting and before we jump into the video on how to do it my personal site is wixtrainingacademy.com Feel free to come over here, check it out, link in the description below. Now, let's hop into this. So we know that Brett has been working hard alongside Wix to bring us some amazing, amazing features and betas lately, and I'm highly impressed. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Wix. You've been doing impressive work. Well, now let's add on to that mix and show you how you can make your Wix store multilingual. Before we jump into it, I want to preface this by saying uh, I had early access to this beta and I have the language menu already installed on my sample Wix site here. Um, it's currently not sitting in the uh, app market right now because they are about to add it. Um, little surprise, it should be here within the next couple of days. And it's about to go up. So when it does, you'll see the Wix language menu right here in the app market and you would just click add to site like you normally would with Wix apps. So I'm going to X that out right now, but to watch my video about how to utilize and manage the new multilingual app, you can check that link out in the description below as I made a video for this Wix community channel prior to um, a few months ago about how to use that app. So go feel free to check that out. But let's talk about the quick and easy, simple way to make your stores multilingual. So first things first is you have to add a store to your Wix website. To add a store, simply go to Add Apps, and then just simply type into here. We'll make it real easy on you. Store, and you'll see Wix stores right at the top. I already op added it, so I'm going to click Open App. So when you add Wix stores, it adds a shop page to your website, right? So you've now got a shop page on here. What happens next is you can come in here, you could change the settings, you could change the layout, the collection it shows right here, the settings of it, how it looks, the, the titles, um, the design of it, the filters in your store, if you have filters, sorting capabilities, quick view manage, all that good stuff. You can change all the design and basic settings right here in the settings portion. To actually add products, you would go to manage products, and then you could come in here, it'll pull up your current inventory or current catalog of products that you've got loaded into the site well let me tell you something else it is taking us a jolly old time to load we got it we're here we're live so now it loads up your products to add a new product you would click new product here like always and you would choose if it's a physical product or a digital file from there you guys can follow the easy steps to add a product but there's a bit of a change here so now you're adding a product in both either Spanish or English. So if you're going to make your store multilingual, what you'll have to do is you'll have to add both a English product and a Spanish product in here. So to make that happen, what I would recommend is I would create a collection for English products and I would create a collection for Spanish products. So I'd come in here, I would say, English and then maybe whatever the collection is I'll just call it for lack of better terms in this video collection one and then you could add products based off of whatever your English products are you pull them put them in here I'm not gonna actually go through and save that but that's how you would do it. actually you know what I will and then I'll add products so I'll add this product I'll add that one and I'll add that one so we'll call those my English products. You could add a collection image, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna click save. And then I'm going to add a Spanish collection. So I'll call this Spanish collection one. Then I'm going to add products. I'll call the ebook and then I will call the little lamp and the picture. Those will be my Spanish products. I'll click save. Now, what needs to happen is the English products are already set in here, right? They're already in English. It's already English. You can see that. I'm a product. However, we need to change the Spanish products to be Spanish. Now, 
I don't actually 100% know Spanish off the top of my head. And by the way, guys, this applies to any language. I just use Spanish as an example in this video. But what we do is we go back to products, right? And I selected the ebook as a Spanish one. So what I'll do, I'll make this very plain, cut and dry and simple. And I'll just name this Hola. And then I will name, because we got the lamp in the picture as well, just to show you how we're going to do this. I'll name this, what do I want to name this? I'll name this Amigos and save it. And then we've got one more Spanish item in here that I selected for this video, which was this lamp. And I'll just name this Trabajo, which means work. Perfect. So now I just created some Spanish products and those products are in the Spanish collection. Now what I'm going to show you is how to maneuver between the two. So we've got this nice handy dandy switch languages button up here that is added once you add the Wix language menu to your website. So now we could switch in between our English site and in this case our Spanish site. Again, it's whatever two languages you have. Watch my previous video on managing the new multilingual app to see how you add languages and change the languages and all that. But if we switch, we've got our English site here, and now we can actually change this to our Spanish site. Now let me show you something. I'm not going to go to our product page here. I'm going to go to um, the shop page. And on the Spanish site, I'm going to delete, whoops, not going to delete. I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to change the collection here to our Spanish collection. And we can see I've changed the name of the products. But let me show you something here. What we would click is we would click translate on the site or the version of the site that's not our home base language. So I would click translate. It will then translate it. We don't want that. We'll go back here. It'll pull up this multilingual dashboard. And you'll have an option here next to the additional language. And it'll say, show your Spanish site. If you click that off, users can no longer view your website in Spanish or whatever language it is. But if you click it on, your Spanish site is live. You need that to be on to be able to take part in this next segment. So you click that on and then you could X out. Once that's on, let me show you something. If we go to our English site, and we click preview. I'll show you. This is our product page. I don't want our product page. I want our shop page. Um, this is our English site. And you can see it says quick view, right? And, and I put, again, I have to switch the two here. Make sure that the collection is correct for English and Spanish. But this is our English site. If we click to Spanish... This is what happens. Aha, this now says Visita Rapida. You click on it. And that's the quick view. You can see, Fierz Todos Los Dileates, Agregar, El Corito. I might be butchering this a lot. That's okay. But you can see what happens now. So now, all of your information is translated to Spanish. This is now a Spanish online store. So we could go back to Inicio, which is home. I'm not going to go back there. But now, if I switch it to English, it's back to add to cart. And it's if I go back altogether, which I didn't add navigation on the menu here. Shouldn't have done that. Um, but what will happen is, is we're back there. Now, to add properly do this, I would add two shop pages. And I would make one... Uh, you know your Spanish your Spanish collection and one your English collection so instead of one main shop page I would just add one and then add use the project the product widget in here you can see add store elements grid gallery just like it is on the page right now and then add 
a Spanish collection or an English collection depending on what page you're doing. So that way when you switch in between the two languages here, you can add one as one language and one as the other. And that's how it works. So it'll switch all the accessory details such as the preview and all of the main store functions, um, the, the language, to the proper language it's supposed to correspond with. And that's very cool. So Wix just added that. So now that is how you add your multilingual capabilities to the new Wix stores. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, I understand some of these details are still getting worked out here with this new, brand new, literally brand new concept and idea and feature on Wix. So feel free to comment down below. Like this video if you found it helpful, if you're excited for this. And don't forget to subscribe here on the Wix community channel. Awesome stuff going on. And again, feel free if you'd like to head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Link in the description below where I'm sending some of my personal content on the Wix Training Academy. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate your time. I appreciate what you're doing. And stay awesome. Go implement these multilingual stores in Wix. Thank you guys.